We are live, we are live, unlike the Jedi, unlike the Jedi, because I killed them all, because I hunt them down, because I'm Dark Vader, because I'm Dark Vader. Let us see if we are live, bitches. It's Force Friday. I am taking your comments. I am unable to see the stream, and this makes me angry. I am live? Oh, there I am. Excellent. Oh, wonderful. Oh, look, it's me. And only you are watching me, Logan Stewart. What have we done wrong? Nothing. Ah, Janie Marie gives the clappy hands. Oh, I've got asterixis. I'm Janie Marie. Thank you for joining us, Janie. It means a lot to me. Uh, Kelly uh, Hernesen says, smiley face with tears coming out. You know what will make tears come out? Whenever I eat burritos, because the stink, it's the, it's 12 parsecs worth of stink. Uh, okay, people are tuning in. Now bring your questions for the Dark Lord of the Sith, who is also an MD. It's Force Friday, which means I take it all. There's no Tom Heineber today. Do you know why? Because he's got stuff to do, apparently. More important than this guy here. Okay, but Logan's here. Right, Logan? hey -oh. Tom went to the light side. Oh, wow. Silent but deadly. All right, what do we have? Uh, Colin Brooks, your face makes me angry. Well, Colin, anyone who spells their first name s the same with just a couple of letters off from the thing that makes the poopy, the colon, also makes me angry. Okay, so there. Please don't sing, it makes me angry. Daleen Treadwell. Oh. Oh, it sounds like someone, someone's asking me not to sing, Logan. What do you think? You gotta sing, Doc. Today is going to be the day that I transect you with my lightsaber. By now, you should have somehow realized what the Force can do. I don't believe that anybody clicks as many boxes as I do. That's called Wonder Balls by Doc Vader. Uh, let's see. Uh, Dark Side for Life, Janie Marie, thank you. You are not a Jedi yet, Nicole Smith. Nicole, how dare you? I was a Padawan, then I became a Jedi. By the way, speaking of which, New York University is now paying for the tuition for their Padawans, their medical students. It's going to be free, all four years, $55,000 a year worth of tuition paid for by the guy who founded Home Depot. That old man. He's like, here's some money, bitches. You know what's going to happen? Now, pretty soon, there's going to be several Latino gentlemen sitting on the curb outside of NYU just hustling for work because the Home Depot thing is a, is a slide. It's a steep slide into obsolescence. So one step, free tuition. Next step, communism. That's all I'm saying. It happened in the empire. It could happen to you, NYU. I want free tuition. Uh, hmm... Oh, fudge, I didn't mean those hot eyes, Laura Lass. Well, then why did you push them? Who told you to push the hot eyes? Get your emoji straight, girl, okay? Just get it straight. Put all your stuff in a room and, 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 and get it together. Uh, what made you want to be a doctor? Ariana Cortez, money. <laughs> Plain and simple. I, I like cash money millionaires. Me. I realized my path off of tattooing was not to become an investment banker because you have to know a lot of white people and make networks. Being uh, f rather dark, I decided I'm going to work my way up through a meritocracy, get into medical school, cannulate a lot of PPs, and uh, uh, fistulate a lot of fistulas, and make that Skrilla. And look where I am now. 90% robot, one pimp hand. It all worked out. Uh, let's see... Uh, what's up, says Ryan Fritz. How do you handle patients who think they know more than you? <laughs> well, the operative word is handle. And the way I handle them is I sew a handle into their back, an actual handle, and then I pick them up by it and I throw them out the window because nobody knows more than me. That's why I'm Doc Vader and you're patient X because you, you may think you know more, and you know what, none of this I know my body stuff, Logan. You're telling me this too. 
I know my body, Z. You don't know your body. I... It loves Chipotle. <laughs> that I do know about your body. Uh, I know of your body more than you know your body. I'm just telling you this. You can come at me, bro. But when it comes down to it, I will cut you. Uh, let's see. The force is strong with this live video. David Palota. Well, the midichlorian count is off the charts. It's true. It's not easy, you know, being the perfect specimen of both parody character and doctor and, you know, uh, 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 my master being this guy who does the thing. So, yes, the force is very strong. Uh, what do we have? I'm scrolling through your comments as we speak. Uh, my husband thinks I'm weird for watching this. Cheryl Thurman. Cheryl, usually people who say that, and I'm just going to spitball here for a second, are swingers. That's all I'm going to say. And I'm not saying I'm a swinger, but I'm just saying my wife is no longer of this system. She is a false ghost. And so I'm just saying if anyone's down to clown, <laughs> Vader's there for you. Uh, research visual snow the current medical system makes it impossible to receive proper treatment because the boxes matt sierra well if visual snow has to do with the snow of having to click the boxes in epic then you will never find a more wretched hive of stupidity and i will not do it except to get paid which means i will be doing it all the time sundowners is real says brandy hanard yes it is real it is real my master, Z Dog MD, as a big of a fool as he is, he's not listening, is he? God, that guy's a punk. Am I right, Logan? It's true. He's a punk ass bitch. <laughs> Anyways, he has been threatening to do Michael Jackson's thriller, but to revise it in his stupid form to make it sundowner. You know? It's after midnight, something evil's lurking down the wards. You start to scream. But the patient pulls her foley before you reach her. It, it is the sundowners. Because as Vincent Price once said, uh, the, the funk of 40,000 years and no mere nurse or doctor can resist the evil of sundowner. And then it goes, dun, 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 and he goes, ah, 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 ah. <coughs> oh, it was not a good idea. Uh, let's see. Pizza, Pittsburgh PA here says Rocco Schiore. Sing all you want. No, I'm done singing. I'm done singing. When I was a lad on Tatooine, Logan, they taught me how to sing. It was a, uh, it was a young nerf herder uh, by the name of Julia something or other. And she came down and she says, um, when you know the notes to sing... You can sing most any... And this Jedi just cut her right in half. So I never finished the lesson. I never finished my training. I was like Luke. Like Yoda, that little bitch. Yoda just died like a dog right there before the training finished. And it was the same with this, this you know, Fraulein. You're a little flat, see? How dare you? What do you think? You have perfect pitch or something? <laughs> hmm? Maybe. You t you tell me. Slightly. I'm flat. You're flat. You're flat. You know what else is flat? <laughs> the earth. You're right. The earth. I'm glad you said that, Logan. <laughs> the earth is hella flat, bro. Edelweiss. Edelweiss. You sound crappy to me. All right. What do we have? So how can patient medical records and assessments be fixed and allow physician orders to actually spend time with the Josh Rodriguez? Okay, blah, blah, blah. How do you fix it? Stop complaining, Dark Vader. You're always saying this and that, but what's your solution? I have one solution. Cut them all down with a lightsaber. I'm not just solutions guy, people. I'm your dark side id. I'm here to talk hella shit, and you're here to, to enjoy it. You want solutions? Talk to my master, Z Dog MD. He'll make some shit up. But you want actual just hatred? I got your back, your front, your side, and your taint. All of it. Every bit of it. All right, what do we got here? Uh, scroll down. Uh, Doc, we love you in EMS world. What do you say? Uh, you say what all us paramedics wish we could say to patients. Uh, 
yes, I do. Uh, and I will tell you why. Because I don't give an F. I don't care. All right. I have no job to lose except for the one I have. And if I lose it, I will kill everyone. Just understand that. You understand school shooters and you understand workplace violence. I will combine the two in an epic act of revenge if I am fired from my hospital. Just putting that out there. It's not a threat. It's just a fact. A dark side fact. Also understand I am a fictional character, so do not send the feds after me, you dingle bop. Uh, let's see. Comments. I'm going to scroll a little further down because... Ah. Laura wants to know, how should I handle a 12-year-old girl who insists on eating vegan? Go right for the saber? A 12-year-old girl who insists on going vegan. Well, I would ask her this. Little girl, I understand you'd like to go vegan. I'm going to ask you a question. You're 12. All your friends are having periods right now. They are bleeding from their vajayjays because their hormonal cycles are intact. Would you like not to bleed from your vajayjay? <laughs> Would you like to also, when you do bleed, be very anemic and take supplements from the supplement industrial complex? Hmm? Hmm? Also that you don't eat that poor little tauntaun? Well, then go ahead. Be vegan. No problem. Then when your mom makes you read the book by Beverly Clearly, Cleary, Hello, God. <laughs> it's me, Margaret. Are you there? Hmm? You can be like, no, I am not there because I am vegan. I hope that answers your question. Um, why didn't you have the high ground, Hunter Sasa? <laughs> uh, you know, I have to say this. Before I was burned on Mustafa, my depth perception was not very good. I relied on the force. And sometimes the force Fs up. I, I thought he was, ab 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 you know, below me. You know what I mean? I thought he was a below knee amputation, which is what I ended up suffering because I couldn't see. Uh, did you give Darth Sidious a facelift? Because he needs one now. John Majayak. Yeah, he had a lot of sun damage, uh, Sidious. Uh, very much UVA type damage. So no amount of, you know, face -o suction is going to fix that. So I'm just going to pass on that one. Uh, speaking of diets, how do you feel about paleo, Nancy Boyle? Hey, look, bro, anything that allows me to eat nuts, I'm down with. I like those nuts. And I like uh, the steaks. And I like, I like nut-fed beef, beef that is only fed on nuts. That's my favorite kind of beef, and that's hella paleo, bro. All right, because cavemen ate nuts. Cave women also ate nuts. A lot of nuts were eaten in the cave days. Uh, let's see. Charcoal or gas when you cook out? Larry Hale. I use my lightsaber. Just get a good sear. Flip it. Then I do a little indirect heat. I put the saber in the middle. And it slowly cooks. And that's how I like to eat my tauntaun testicles. Uh, Vader. Show me the force medically because I got a test tomorrow. Brandon Watson. Okay, Brandon, follow me. Close your eyes. You guys can't see, but my robot eyes are closed. Take a deep breath and just feel. And then you'll feel yourself shot. And it's when you shot, when the first bit of liquid feces escapes your butthole that's when you know that you really felt the force. That's how I knew. I shot at my pants. Uh, what's the most celebrated holiday on the dark side? Hugh P. Drake the third. <laughs> there are three other Hugh P. Drakes. <laughs> That's what's amazing to me. Three other Hugh P. Drakes that celebrate May the 4th, which is our strongest holiday, heaviest with the dark side. Uh, shout out to nursing students of Coastal College and Professor Pizzotti? Professor Pizzotti? Is that, Logan, is that like Snoop Dogg's professor? Hey, what up, Professor Pizzotti? Like, his name was actually Professor P. It's a, it's a cookie with ice cream in the middle, Z. Oh, so a Pizzotti. They have them at BJ's Brew Pub. They do. <laughs> the Pizzuki. <laughs> professor Pizzuki, I will tell you this. Your students are fools. You are a third-rate teacher, 
And also, thank you for being a fan of the show. Uh... I ate some mango chicken. It looked and smelled the same coming out as it did going in. James Hamilton. Ooh. James Hamilton. His name is James Hamilton. And there's a lot of chicken he never ate. But just you wait. Just you wait. That's right. That was a Hamilton reference. Deal with it. Hugh P. Drake gave me an alien thumbs up. He still got that dumb avatar with the Einstein sticking his tongue out. I thought I told you last week, Hugh. Suck the tongue back in, Einstein. Keep him professional, okay? Don't treat him like a little bitch. What medical conditions have you handled that make the dark side seem bright? Oh, anything in the butthole. <laughs> anything relating to the taint, you know? There was that woman who sang that song. Don't it make my dark side bright? I don't know how it goes, but I heard it once when I was a lad on tattooing. How much does it cost for an interstellar office visit for just a simple checkup? Or have you have to be tractor raid up because I don't have a car? Brian Pennington. I'm glad you brought that up. Transportation is an important problem that relates to the social determinants of health. If you don't have a dope pimp ass land speeder, how the hell are you going to get to my clinic? And the truth is, if you pull up in a ride that's like, I'm going to cut you a discount just because your dope is fudge. You know what I mean? I don't say the F word on this show, right? Right, Logan? He does. A lot. Fuck you, Logan, you bitch. <laughs> um, Doc, can you shout out to Hayden, her first year with no tumor return, Elizabeth Ankney, Elizabeth Ankney, Hayden, Hayden, you are strong, strong with the force. You have beaten your tumor. You have been a year tumor free. You shall remain for the rest of your life tumor free. Why? Because I say so. Because you are powerful, your midi chlorians are high, and your mother is kind enough to reach out to a fictional dark side doctor to manage your care. You need a new mother. But apart from that, I'm very proud of you, and congratulations. Um, hmm. Stephanie Ann Comstock, where were you when I was on call and dealing with the interns at 3 a.m. for pain management? Pain time six months in my earbud. Hmm. Well, you know, this is the problem with the July effect. It's the same across the galaxy. New interns trying to click the boxes, getting through their day, and they're like, what do I do? And I'm like, what you want? You're the damn doctor, okay? Don't be calling me. I'm in my meditation egg, meditating one out to pod me. You need to get your shit together, all right? Open the door, find the box of shit, <laughs> collate it all together, and get it there. That's what you do. Let's see. What do you think of Space Force, Angie Reyes? Logan, you're a Trump guy. What do you think of Space Force? It's great. <laughs> Space Force. What are we, next up? We're going to be the Mobile Gundam Flash Gordon Squad. <laughs> oh, Flash! Ah, oh, he saved every one of us. Um, let's see. Uh, the Force works in mysterious ways. Jesus Macbeth. Jesus. <laughs> what a great name, Jesus Macbeth. <laughs> it takes the best of religion. Jesus, and it adds the best of Shakespeare, <laughs> Macbeth. You should sit there dressed as Jesus and be like, will not all the water of Neptune's oceans wash this blood from my hands? This blood that was once water, which I turned to wine. It's very complicated, Jesus Macbeth. <laughs> I, it sounds like a great rap name, doesn't it? Yo, what up, son? It's Jesus Macbeth. <laughs> part in the waters of the Red Sea. Jesus didn't do that, by the way. That was Moses. Moses Macbeth. <laughs> it was actually Moses. It was Moses Othello. That was his name. Do you see what I did there? I took an Old Testament and I put it with a, a Shakespeare. All right. What do we got? Uh, romancing the taint, says Sarah Lynn. <laughs> Never leaving a poor balls alone every night and every day. I want to see romancing the taint. Uh, let's see. Padme, Majed, uh, uh, what do we got? Can you be my primary doctor? Kevin Dignam. Hmm. No. 
because you don't, you probably, knowing that you're here online in the middle of the day, you probably broke. You don't have insurance. <laughs> I don't take people without insurance. Galactic Medicaid is not for me. Mm-mm. Doesn't pay much. Mm-mm. And, the, and the patients, ew. So poor. Don't like poor people. They're gross. They give you a rash. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yo, Doc Vader, should I visit a, should I pay a visit to my neurologist due to forgetting things? Note, I'm epileptic. Stephanie Sylvester. Well, Stephanie, you clearly didn't forget to not do anything today and instead sit around watching this. <laughs> Logan, play the seizure pattern that makes people seize. You got that? There it is. There it is. Okay. Is that better? Do you feel better now? I just made fun of your really serious disorder. That's what separates me from some other so-called doctors. I don't give an F, people. I will make fun of anybody. Except for that little person who survived the brain tumor. That You don't make fun of that because that's bad luck. Jesus, Macbeth, you're back again. What's that Yoda impression? Right, Jesus. Hmm? Macbeth? Jesus? Is that your name? Hmm? Hmm? Are the trees coming to Dunsinane? Hmm? <laughs> Where is your lady Macbeth? Hmm? Strong she is with the dark side. Hmm? Uh, let's see. Stormtroopers, do they get health care? Philip Mann. Really? You want me to cover those assholes? They can't even shoot straight. They don't need health care. They're all clones. We know exactly what's going to happen to every single one. They're all going to die at age 37 and a half of acute on chronic gout. Why bother with the health care? They're genetically identical. Uh, let's see. Speaking of searing your tauntaun nuts, what's up with these warnings saying you shouldn't be eating the char? Uh, Sam Root. Yes, they are. it's a class one carcinogen when you burn the meat. You know what? They want us to die of boredom. <laughs> if I don't, listen, I would much rather have the most aggressive cancer than be bored as fuck all my life. <laughs> I'm sorry, little younglings who are listening, but I'm angry now. I char my food. I also happen to char my enemies. <laughs> Sometimes I char my women, accidentally, like Padme. Uh, so I'm a fan of the char. Uh, seizure screen of death, Derek Germain. That's right what we do show it again logan make them seize yes seize 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 unseize seize unseize seize ah. <laughs> oh it's so painful to watch let's see this the stream is tainted my end chelsea corbett i don't even know what that means but i'm going to tell you that you're tainted mm -hmm. you are tainted uh Thank you, Doc Vader. I needed this. Rachel McCracken Brown. Aye, Rachel McCracken of the clan McCracken. There can be only one crack, and you have it. Uh, hmm. Don't make fun of my gout, Glenn Scott. Glenn, I wouldn't make fun of your gout, okay? What I would do is when you're having an attack, I would sneak into your room at night where your toe, your gouty toe is exposed. And then I would just ever so gently place a sheet on top of the toe and then watch you jump out of your skin in a chandelier sign and jump for the chandelier. Didn't Sia say that once, Logan? <laughs> she said, I want to swing from the chandelier, from the chandelier. The song makes me cry. It's about getting drunk and crunk at the same time. Uh, so, carbs are good for us. I've just seen an article, doctor, stating carbs are good now. Laura Gabriella Laura, or LGL. Well, Laura Gabriella Laura, or LGL cholesterol, uh, I will tell you this. That study, which I have seen, says absolutely nothing, as do most nutrition studies. They are relying on the memories of people in terms of what they eat and then extrapolating, well, what happens to them? This guy remembers that he eats no carbs. This guy remembers that he eats hella carbs. And let's move forward. Those studies are very flawed. The way you would study it is you randomize groups to carbs and low carbs. You cannot do that. Therefore, it is all speculation. Here's what I say. Moderate your diet, find what works for you, and then shut the hell up. <laughs> I don't care about it anymore. 
okay? I eat these nuts, and I like them. I also eat some veggies, and I like them. I eat tauntaun meat, and I like it. Life is to be led. Food is to be fed. Bitches need to be... <laughs> don't say it. Dead. I don't know. <laughs> Keeping it real, people. OMG, please wish me happy birthday from the dark side, Sarah Bentley. Oh, Sarah, I am afraid this birthday will be quite operational when your cake arrives. Uh, Stephanie Lovejoy, why can't you force push the Jedi lightsabers off? Logan, that's a great question, actually. Why can't I just force turn the lightsabers off? Like he's about to strike me down and I'm just like, Foot, and he goes, Kush. that's a great question. I've never thought, thank you for that. I'm going to try that next. It never occurred to me. Just, Kush. oh, your lightsaber's off, Kush. but mine's still on. Thank you for giving me a secret that now I can use to exterminate anybody with a lightsaber. Um, what do you think about Disney owning you, Luis <laughs> Wellmeyer? Bitch, Disney doesn't own me. You're not the boss of me, Disney. Michael Eisner, come at me, bro. I will, I will, this is what I will do. I will take one of those surgical razors and I will shave your, your entire genital area. Then I will circumcise you because I know you're not circumcised. And then, because you cheated, you may be Jewish, but you cheated. And then I will cut the rest of the package off, cauterize it and send it to your wife and say, you're welcome, Disney. I would do none of those things. Please do not sue me, Michael Eisner. <laughs> that is all I'm saying. Uh, what do you think, Logan? Where are we at in all this? We're, we're straight thugging. Are we thugging? Straight we thugging. got 681 Padawans watching this cast. <laughs> it's like the middle of the day. Who are these people? Are they sitting in like the nurse's lounge? They're like, oh, oh, look, it's Doc Vader. I just will stop doing my work now and watch him be an <laughs> asshole. Oh, how lovely. Get a life, people. It's the middle of the freaking day. It's Friday, Friday. Gonna get high on Friday. Everybody's getting crunk for the weekend, weekend. Is that how it went? You're, uh, you're causing a lot of malpractice suits right now. Because people aren't working. <laughs> this is the thing, though. <laughs> Just use the force to turn off the Jedi lightsabers. <laughs> how did I not think of that? Uh, Star Wars or Star Trek? Which do you like to watch on your downtime, Michelle Marlowe? Well, you know, Michelle, I'll be honest. I don't like to look at myself on camera. I'm, it's not flattering. It adds 10 parsecs. The camera always adds 10 parsecs. Star Trek, I will watch. I'm a fan. I'm going to be honest. I'm a Picard guy <laughs> because he makes it so. And I will say this, that Q, so handsome. Such a handsome chap. Hmm? He was also in Breaking Bad years later. Uh, that same actor, just so you know. Please execute order number 66, Glenn Kraling. What do I look like, a drive through guy? Oh, I'll have order number 66. You shut your hole, Glenn. I'm not your bitch, all right? I'm Palpatine's bitch. I'm Z-Dog's bitch. I'm the administrator's bitch. I'm CMS's bitch, but I'm not your bitch. You're the one person whose bitch I am not. Order 66. How about that for an order? <laughs> What do you think, Logan? I think it's time to... I think it's time. I think these people are not worthy of my time, except for the ones that are. For example, <laughs> who are these people? Community college professors getting ready for the next semester. We watch you on Friday, Don Pappas. Don Pappas, you are the pimp daddy, my friend. Community college, educating the masses and kicking the asses. That's what Don Pappas does. Don Pappas with the masses kicking the asses. Community college letting the gases out gassing like the stormtroopers on the Death Star. Everybody knows that mine's the best bar to go to and sit and hit on the young Padawans. That's illegal because me too, I'm a another one. You're still a little flat, by the way. Hmm? <laughs> I'm, I, can you feel the force? <laughs> Logan, can you feel me force choking you? I, t I turned off your lightsaber. I am... <laughs> On that note, bitches, uh, this has been real. Another false Friday down the hatch. Uh, I am going to, I'm going to sign off now. I want you to like this. I also want you to go subscribe to my master's Facebook page and the click the become a supporter link for four ninety nine imperial credits a month. Guess what you get? Secret shit from me, bitch. 
with all the curse words. <laughs> right, Logan? All of them. All of them. Every single one. Including bastard. We don't say that word enough. Bastard. Crap. Crap's you're, a good one. You're bastard, people. Vader out! <laughs>